global orchestrations and service level orchestrations. Let's go ahead and dive into a configuration for global orchestration first. Let's take a look at central operations here and point out some of the key features of global orchestration in the PagerDuty AI Ops. First and foremost, it allows multiple integration sources. So one team can have all of their tools feed into a single global orchestration, which allows them to normalize data across multiple tools and engage automation and enrichment activities consistently, regardless of the tool source. An additional feature here is you can create new integration keys and migrate these from other rule sets and orchestrations. So as you migrate from event rules or want to merge teams together, you can do that and start applying consistent logic across all events coming into the PagerDuty AAOps. Now at the global level, you're able to normalize and transform these events. So let's take a look at what that configuration looks like. Here we can see we have the host name extraction. So what this is doing, if we see an event with a host name, it's able to extract that information, maybe add it to the summary field or use later in additional logic for orchestration or calling automation within the platform. We can continue to extract information or perhaps universally classify events, you know, with a certain priority based on the event payload coming into the platform. Perhaps anything with an expected application impact of outage will be prioritized to a P2 with a note added to it immediately. Whereas other events coming into the platform perhaps with an environment flag of development or non-production, might suppress those incidents or delay notifications for other reasons. Perhaps for this P2, we would also want to call an external webhook to trigger some additional diagnostics or perform some additional activities to make sure that we can get to the root of the problem and drive down MTTR as quickly as possible. As you can see, these rules are able to be nested within each other and can follow a path where they fall back so you can create complex logic that can account for numerous situations including things like time conditions where maybe i've got an upcoming data center migration and i want to silence some of the additional noise that i know is going to be created as a result of that I'm able to do that at a global level for all events coming into the PagerDuty AI Ops system. Once the event has completed passing through the global orchestration part of the AI Ops platform, it then passes on to the service routing. This allows you to define conditions that tell the platform when to route these events to which services for assignment to the appropriate teams, Let's go ahead and take a look at our first condition here, where we've set up a simple condition where we just say, if the OS is Ubuntu or Windows, we're going to go ahead and route this to the server service. Right. And additionally, you'll see that you've got routes for DC virtualization, maybe the web front end service. So as these events are coming in from multiple tools, we're able to route those to the services to get it to the right team to resolve the issue as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the service level orchestrations part of the PagerDuty AIOps solution. This page likely looks very familiar to the global orchestration page that you've already seen. Now, this allows any events coming in at the service level, either through a direct integration with the service that a team can set up or an event coming in at the global level through the global orchestration that we just showed off during this webinar. Within the service level orchestrations, you'll see a lot of the same capabilities that we saw at the global level where we can use event data to drive complex logic and decision making, such as suppressing dev events coming from a dev environment. Maybe we don't want to create incidents for those. Additionally, 
I can call things like automation based on contents of the payload. So maybe if I have a root partition, I know that this could be potentially impactful to the system. So I want to drive up a higher priority and get the common Linux KPIs. Using the secure automated actions on platform automation for PagerDuty, Alternatively, I could call a webhook to engage another automation tool or response system to respond to this incident based on developer requirements and team needs. It's important to note that this gives teams the flexibility to drive configuration and event management requires on a team by team basis, easing the burden of centralized management while providing global flexibility at the global orchestration level across the entire PagerDuty AIOps solution.